Okay, I have a beautiful tip for followers. This could be an embellishment or a safe moment for mm -hmm. you when the leader does something strange. Let me show you. We never do something strange, but no, just, just in, in case. case yeah. <laughs> so we are doing the basic step. On the basic step, I'm going to cross before going to the resolution. So I'm doing a little double crosses or triple crosses as an embellishment. If uh, you decide to do that, when I decide to do that, I have to be a, um, aware of the timing. So it has to be before he walks. He doesn't know we are doing this. So the crosses are very quick. So if we count that, the basic step is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So when we are in number four on the cross, I'm using double crosses to spend the time there and be sure to keep walking on five going to resolution. Yes. Don't stop the leader. It, that is a very, very nice option. I see professional dancers that are very, very good, good to the music, with the music. These little crosses, sometimes you hear a piano. So that way you can play with the musicality. If the leader is not playing with those kind of rhythm and you know how to, this is one, one cool figure to do that. Yeah, the technique for this is, of course, respecting the timing of the leader, not stopping the leader. I'm showing open, open embrace sure. just for the technique. When we go to the four, to the cross, keep your body weight on your toes and double the moment. Change body weight, change body weight to left to right, left to right. At the end, be ready to change body weight to your left to extend the leg with the leader to go to resolution. Mm -hmm. Now, also, this uh, little double crosses else when the leader does move too fast or does a step too large, too large and we feel like we ended on his right side kind of behind him and he's under moving, his arm yeah he's moving like long steps without us so this also could help in this moment he's going to do long steps like we don't have to but in case we encounter this moment I'm like very much on the, on the back part of his right side. So I will use these double steps to gain the position to <laughs> go back to resolution. So I'm moving, doing these crosses from his right side to the front side. Can we show sure, them absolutely. on this angle so they can see that? Just yeah. to clarify, we, it's best not to get to that position that you are under here by doing a larger step with the right for the follower. But in case you, that happened to you, sure. That's yeah, the way. it could be like ending in this position could be because the follower is, is doing short step. Let's yes, show that. Or a little too long. Let's show them this moment. If I do very short step here, yes. Then of course on next step I'm here, like very uncomfortable and very hard to follow the leader. So that will be followers' mistake. Yes. Or it could be also leaders' mistakes sometimes? Well, yeah. Not really, no, just kidding. No, but the, one, the leaders, we, sometimes we have the habit of bringing our elbow back and not letting you, even if you are doing long steps, sometimes we don't let you and we have the tendency to walk holding you back. Sorry, Miri. <laughs> so, but that's one of the habits that I normally see at the Milonga, leaders doing mm, and walking long. If you're doing that. So this is save the moment, <laughs> double crosses to recuperate the front. Let us show you what we do it. He's doing long steps. One, two, three, five, and six, and seven. So we are using four on double crosses to recuperate the front. Yes. So that's the tip we have today for the followers. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. You are really helping us a lot. If you subscribe, you like the video, you share with your friends. That's a very, very, very big help. We already surpassed 15,000 subscribers. Yes. Subscribers, sorry. Thanks to you. Thank you. See you on the next video. Bye.